Something that I have noted is that the first of class of the new Type 26 frigates being built on the Clyde HMS Glasgow looks like it will be delayed in starting sea trials. There have previously been stated in various articles online that the vessel will be starting sea trials by the end of 2025 and should be completed in 2026, after which the vessel will be commissioned and handed over shortly after. However, seeing the vessel alongside the Clyde, in my opinion, it is nowhere near to the stage of starting sea trials by the end of 2025. For instance, on the fiberglass monolithic mast, there is no radar, no satellite comm systems installed yet, and the vessel still looks like a construction site. The vessel was named by Catherine, the Princess of Wales, towards the end of May 2025, and the vessel looked neat for that naming ceremony, with coverings uncovered, and very much looked like looked like a warship. The warship has since been reverted to being covered over again and looking more like a scruffy construction site and even the whole paint on one side looks like to have been deteriorated. Looking at a trusted source of information, Wikipedia online, the last thing mentioned about HMS Glasgow states it has been reported that sea trolls are expected to begin in 2026 before the vessel entering service in 2027. I strongly believe this is the case. In heightened tensions around the world and the poor state of the Royal Navy today, it is somewhat shocking and somewhat disappointing that this vessel will be delayed in starting sea trials and may even be delayed in entering service. With lack of manpower to man the few surface fleet vessels in the Royal Navy and the dire situation with the Royal Fleet Auxiliary, the backbone of the Royal Navy, with also not enough manpower and vessels that are not allowed to leave the quay for safety reasons, such as the recent situation with the RFA Argus. Yes, Britain has two large aircraft carriers, but that's it basically. The Royal Navy is in dire straits and it probably will be at least two years before at least one of the new vessels like HMS Glasgow enters service.